Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I am opening another booster box of Scarlet and Violet. Um, I did pretty well on my first two pulls wise, but in this third one, I'm really hoping to pull some of the cards that I still need in my collection. Um, would love to pull the Miriam alternate art, and I would really love to pull the full art Gyarados, but um, I'll kind of talk about the set a little bit as I go, but I'd like to get right into it here with the first pack. All right. The energy to the front. We have Fighting Energy, Ponyard, Crushing Hammer, Starly, Flittle, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Bombardier, Potion Reverse, Dollop Reverse, and a Great Tusk EX. I think that I may or may not actually need that one. I, I know that I pulled either Iron Treads or Great Tusk, but I don't remember which one. Um, but I believe the other is the last normal EX card that I had not pulled yet. So hopefully it's that one. All right, pack number two, Psychic Type Energy, Potion, Buizel, Energy Retrieval, Lechonk, Electric Generator, Wug Trio, Judge, Penny Reverse, Mareep, and Gardevoir EX Full Art. And look at that absolutely horrible centering. This is actually so off center that it is an error card. <laughs> it's a uh, like I like I like novelties like this, but not when I need one for my set. But you can see the alignment dot right there, which is not supposed to be visible on the cards with the way they cut them. And that is just so poorly cut. The bottom of the card is missing. Let's take a look. And the back side, completely normal. Now, normally I would be a little upset about pulling something like this, but this one is so far off center that I could send it in for grading and it would be designated as an error card or I can just sell it as an error card, but no mistaking that. That is an insanely off-center card there. Um, I don't hate the fact that I pulled one in that kind of state. I would like one, um, you know, just for the collection that looks a little better than that, though. Uh, very novel first good hit of the box, though. Gardevoir EX Full Art grotesquely off-center. All right. Pack number three. Lightning Energy, Shroomish, Mankey, Charcadet, Capsicid, Hypno, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Tropius Reverse, Pokeball Reverse, and Annihilate. Who knows, maybe I'll get a, another one of those in this uh, box that's properly centered. Or maybe I'll get a couple full arts in this box and all of them will be grossly off-centered if they're from the same sheet. There's really no way to, to know what I'm going to get. That is uh, just a testament to kind of the level of quality control. I think the cards are a little higher quality. Um, you know, they look higher quality at least, but they're still not immune to the normal Pokemon card treatment where, uh, you know, they produce so many of them now, basically, that stuff like that is very, very common. Finding something like that back in the Wizards of the Coast era, very, very rare, which actually makes those types of errors even more valuable because they weren't so commonplace, but one that is that off-center is still quite the rarity. All right, Metal Energy, Potion, Buizel, Energy Retrieval, Lechonk, Staraptor, Katie, Electric Generator, Energy Switch Reverse, Picnic Basket Reverse, and Armor Rouge. And uh, polls-wise, I'm hoping to get one of those booster boxes with two of the alternate arts in it. Um, so of the two booster boxes I've opened, I got one of them had Coridon and Gardevoir alternate arts, and then the second one had uh, the Jacques and the Miridon. So I've gotten two from each of the two that I've opened. So I'm hoping to get two from this one as well. Zangoose, 
Squovit illustration rare in a professor's research. Squovit is one that I have, but another nice pull there. So far, three hits from the box. The Great Tusk EX, the Error Gardevoir EX Full Art, and the Squovit Illustration Rare. Zangoose, Krogunk, Driftblim, Wugtrio, Judge, Driftblim, Sandile, and Skelly Dirge. That card, Judge, um, is used in competitive. So all of the nest balls and Judge cards that I pull, I do sell. I don't put them in with my bulk. I sell them for about 50 cents a piece, maybe a little more if they're reverse hollows. And um, yeah, people are buying them right up just because they need a play set of four of each of those cards for their decks. And this is the first set. Well, actually, Judge has been in many sets. Uh, I think the last one before this was Fusion Strike, but um, this is the most recent version of the card, so people are buying those up. Spupa, Youngster, and Don Dozo. Other than that, I can't, I can't remember if there's too many normal bulk cards from this set that have any kind of additional value outside of being bulk cards. I think the uh, Electric Generator card is used in a current deck build, but I don't know if that one has any kind of premium attached to it right now. Fuecoco, Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, Lucario, Vivian, Satitan, and Indeedee. Really hoping for that Gyarados. I pulled the Arcanine twice, and uh, those two cards are just so cool looking. But I don't need the Arcanine, obviously, at this point. Would really love to pull the Gyarados, though, because it's just such a cool looking card. Jacques, Silly Cobra, Mousehold, and Oinkalone EX, second regular EX pull of the box. As far as values of some of these cards, uh, the normal Gardevoir EX and the Miraidon EX are both worth somewhere between $5 and $7 each right now um, because I do think that they are popular and competitive. So that's pretty nice, especially compared to, you know, normal like Pokemon V from a Sword and Shield set. Grievered, Squovit, and Revavroom. Four pulls on the box total so far. All right. Metal Energy, Flabebe, Toxel, Raltz, Growlithe, Flaffy, Blissey, Jacques, Krogunk Reverse, Tarantula Reverse, and King Gambit. Moving right along here. I am curious about how this set will fare long term. I know that Sun and Moon base and Sword and Shield base are not really anybody's favorite sets, which just means that there's probably exciting things to come in the Scarlet Violet era. Medicham, Quaxwell, Flittle Reverse, Crocodile Reverse, Houndstone. Getting close to the end of the first half of the box. No alternate art EX uh, illustration rares pulled yet. I think the technical term is special illustration rare. Psychic Energy, Shuppet, Tandemouse, Smoliv, Primate, Florigato, EXP Share, Stone Jorner, Go Goat, Coridon EX Gold, and a Clef Key. Love to see the gold cards, the hyper rares. Um, I have pulled this one. I believe this is the second time I pulled this one, and I pulled the Miraidon gold twice as well, but still a very cool card to pull. I, I pulled the Nest Ball once as well, so I need the rare candy and then the Fighting and Lightning energy golds. So I'm missing those three still. Hoping to pull them from packs. 
I think the Coridon is probably the least valuable of all the gold cards, but still a cool pull, nonetheless. Darkness Energy, Shuppet, Tandemouse, Toad School, Sandile, Florigato, Zangoose, Stone Jorner, King Gambit Reverse, Lechonk Reverse, Coridon. Psychic Energy, Clawitzer, Grievered, Mastiff, Pawniard, Cyclazar, Toad Scroll, Mousehold, Stone Jorner, Pachirisu, Miraidon. Looks like two more on the first half of the box. So this will be pack number 17 so far. And we've got Fire Energy, Houndoom, Fido, Scatterbug, Drifloon, Penny, Medicham, Quaxwell, Switch Reverse, Wugtrio Reverse, Halucha, and pack number 18, the halfway point of the box. And of course, at the end, I will go through and show all of my pulls. Lightning Energy, Wiglet, Toad School, Sandile, Houndoom, Vitality Band, Toxtricity, Crocolore, Reverse Lucario, Sprigatito, and the normal Gyarados EX. I've had no trouble pulling that version of the Gyarados. I think that's like the fifth one or so that I pulled, but that full art has evaded me. Moving on to the second half of the booster box now. We have Grass Energy, Sprigatito, Flittle, Saviper, Houndor, EXP Share, Toad Scroll, Vitality Band, Mankey Reverse, Pachirisu Illustration Rare, that's a nice looking card, and the Iron Treads EX. So I pulled the Great Tusk and Iron Treads in this box, so whichever one I was missing, I have it now. And then this Pachirisu Illustration Rare, that was one that I did need, have not pulled that yet, so very happy to see that. That means I've got two slots filled in in my binder, potentially three if I decide to hang on to that Gardevoir EX, but honestly, it's kind of worth a premium being so mis miscut the way it is. I may or may not just sell that one as an error card. Metal Energy, Fido, Scatterbug, Drifloon, Sprigatito, Florgis, Muck, Greedent, Wiglet Reverse, Riolu Reverse, and a full art penny, super off center again. Look at that, two from this box, been just enormously off center. I do have one of these with good centering, but I can't believe the uh, the state that these are in with the, look at that, the bottom part of the artwork is cut off once again, and that alignment dot very clearly visible right there. Yeah, look at these, this is, it's honestly, it's laughably bad. So those must have came from the same sheet where they had the uh, the punch or whatever they used to cut it totally misaligned with the dots on the, the sheet there. But hey, what can you do? I am hoping to get a premium for those, I guess. Um, and it's not like, like Penny and Gardevoir are popular characters or Pokemon and character, so... I definitely think that there's a, a market for those. I do have a, or I, I'm part of a error Pokemon, a misprint group on Facebook. And um, people talk about buy and sell and kind of show off what they have on there. And I've sold a couple errors on eBay. So it's definitely, definitely something. Pulled a Sylveon V from Evolving Skies where the hollow pattern was shifted. So the hollow foil part of the card wasn't lined up with the actual picture on the ink. So it was kind of like seeing double on it basically. And uh, you know, that card's worth like 50 cents, but I sold it for something like 10 bucks. Staravia Reverse, Drowsy Reverse, and Quackwaval.
Fighting Energy, Squovit, Charcadet, Lechonk, Starly, Vivian, Doshbun, Tatsugiri, Shroomish Reverse, Dedenne Reverse, and a Slowbro. Still no alternate arts from the box yet. I, I'm assuming kind of that the gold Coridon EX kind of counts for that spot because it, the gold cards do come in that reverse hollow spot, the second reverse spot, but I'm not sure. I could still maybe get two out of the last packs that I have here. I could get one. I could get zero potentially. It is all kind of luck and chance at the end of the day. They are somewhat mapped, but it's not like anything is specifically guaranteed. All right, moving on, we have Metal Energy, Tarantula, Watchroll, Krokorok, Mankey, Scovillain, Torkoal, Breloom, Setatl, Meowskarata, and a Gardevoir EX. Nice EX pull there. All of the normal EXs, the gold card, and the illustration rares I've pulled have had normal centering too. So I think it is just a sheet of normal full art cards that got slotted into this box that had a uh, unfortunate time. Charcadet, Lechonk, Starly, Tarantula, Flamigo, Fortress, Rocky Helmet, Small of Reverse, Energy Search, Professor's Research. Not a ton of packs left to uh, pull that alternate art I'm hoping for. Would really like to pull the Miriam. I need both the Iron Treads and Great Tusk alternate arts. I need the Penny alternate art. I need the Spide Ops alternate art. So a lot of them that I am hoping to see. Nothing in that pack there. Moving on to a Gyarados cover artwork. I could potentially get another full art out of this box too, but um, you know, depending on what it is, I may or may not even want that since it's probably going to be severely miscut. Houndor, Toadscrew, and Meowskarata. Basically, I'm worried about pulling that Gyarados and having it be super off-center because I badly want it in my collection, but I also would probably have to uh, sell that on some secondary market just because it will hold some kind of value to somebody. Flamigo, Fortress, Rocky Helmet, Rocky Helmet, and there's the Spide Ops EX alternate art. Happy to see that and a cloth behind it, but there we go. And nothing wrong with the way it's centered or anything like that. So that is another one of the alternate arts to scratch off my list. Very happy to see that there. I really do think that that's a cool card too. I like the cartooniness of the artwork. And it looks like it just took down a scyther or something. Um, pretty cool in the games how this thing would hang out in the trees and like jump out at you too. So, I'm a fan. I really like bug-type Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Heracross. Um, just a fan of them overall, even though most of the time they're not very great in the games. Next pack here, Fighting-type Energy, Capsicid, Alomomola, Pomo, Toadskool, Ultra Ball, Espathra, Arvin, Quackwaval, Scovillain uh, Illustration Rare. This is one that I already have, but... That is fine. It is a very cool artwork with them like at the restaurant there. Super spicy breath as the move and hot bite. I do like the card a lot. Not filling in a binder spot with it and that probably will be the last normal illustration rare of the box if I had to guess because I have pulled three regular and one alternate art but you never know. You know like I said nothing is a guaranteed pull rate necessarily. But I think out of the last two, I got three of the normal ones and two of the alternate arts per box. And I think that gold card takes up one of the alternate arts spots. Toad School, Toxtricity, and Coridon. But I still feel like 
the box might owe me another pull or two. Maybe an EX or a full art or something like that, but the thing I would prefer the most obviously would be one of the alternate arts. Metal Energy, Rotom, Chansey, Rare Candy, Fido, Cacturn, Driftblim, Mesagoza, Florgis Reverse, Pokegear 3.0, Professor's Research. Getting down there on packs, I'm not sure how many that is left back there, but just a small handful left. Lightning Energy, Fuecoco, Drowsy, Nimona, Lechonk, Espathra, Ultra Ball, Arvin, Flittle Reverse, Grievered Reverse, and Arboliva. Looks like three packs in total to go. I do really like opening this set though. The uh, It's not as crazy as Crown Zenith in terms of how many packs have hits in them, but the hits that you get in this are sometimes better because a lot of the Crown Zenith pulls are just like a normal V from the main set. Tatsugiri, Nest Ball, Grimer Reverse, Arvin Reverse, and Magnezone EX. Pulled that card a lot of times as well. I think that one and the Gyarados are the two that I have pulled the most times. Second to last pack here. Still holding out hope to maybe get another alternate art since I did only get one, but we will see. Psychic Energy, Flabebe, Growlithe, Staravia, Ralts, Cacturn, Mesagoza, Heracross, Annihilate Reverse, Spiritomb Reverse, and another horribly miscut full art card there. You can see the alignment dot in the corner. It is just the same as the other two. Just look at that, the Spydops EX. So the Gardevoir EX is the only one that I didn't already have. So I'm not losing too much sleep on these two since I already have them. It is a bummer about the Gardevoir, but honestly, if I can make a little profit on these as error cards, I will be happy to do so. But yeah, I don't believe it. Three terribly miscut, basically, error cards all in the same box. And the final pack here. I'm just happy that it wasn't my Gyarados that I'm chasing. Still on the hunt for it, it looks like, but did not pull a super messed up one. All right, last pack magic. Fire Energy, Drowsy, Nimona, Lechonk, Flabebe, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Bombardier, Flaffy Reverse, Oinkalone Reverse, and Rev of Room. So nothing from the last pack, but a couple cards to go through uh, pulls wise for normal EXs Magnezone, Gardevoir, Iron Treads, Gyarados, Oinkalone, and Great Tusk. The Gold Hyper Rare EX Full Art got the Kuridon. And three Illustration Rares Scovillain. Pachirisu and Squovit, and then one alternate art, Illustration Rare EX in Spydops. I love the texture and background to these. They're just a very nice kind of subset of cards in this. And then the three problem children, the Spydops EX full art, the Penny full art, and the Gardevoir EX Full Art, all just severely, severely miscut. However, the backs look completely normal, so I think maybe the alignment was done with the back and the sheets were actually made incorrectly because there's no reason for the back and the front to be that different. But yeah. Something interesting, I do think personally that I will get a premium for these and actually more money than they are typically worth. So I'm not complaining. I just have to find the right buyer that likes those kinds of errors and then I'll uh, use that money to buy some more packs to open. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing.